Miari, gena usakasakabo, hola y buenos dia, hello and good day. It's Elba again, aka Phoenix Taino, playing some more wakfu. Then we gotta go talk to this other character that may or may not be an enotroph. I'm not sure, to be honest what class she is. Talk. Oh, she may be in Osamolas, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, hey you, if you're looking to join the Guild of Hunters, I've, you've come to the right place. I got my certificate. Let me see that. Hmm, yes, it looks authentic enough. I'll accept a truce with the Uganox from the camp in exchange for a tax of 5,000 commas a week. There will be no further negotiations. And be sure to tell them that if they intend to go after the Castucks, hunting is restricted. Exterminating them is forbidden. Thank you. I'll take your answer to Verna. She ain't gonna like it, but she's gonna she's gonna accept it. Mm -mm. I've already passed the test, bro. I've negotiated a truce, but there are some conditions. A weekly tax? Forbidden from getting rid of those cast ups? Are you sure you know how to negotiate? Although I suppose it's still better than just letting the conflict continue. You've done a good, good enough job. Thanks. I believe you mentioned a reward? Ah, the reward. We're not quite there yet. You've done us a small favor, to be sure, but certain things still remain to be done. To tell you the truth, I want to get back something that was stolen from me. It happened at sea when we were sailing through there. What happened? Some creatures tried to sink us. We won the battle, but it left with part of our cargo, and what's worse, it took an item that belonged to my ancestor. I don't care about the cargo, but that bell has been passed down in my family from one generation to the next. It's really precious to me. Can you just buy another one? She literally just said it has sentimental value, bro. I'm telling you it's an item of immense personal importance. Nothing could ever replace it. If you find it, you'll get your reward. During our confrontation, I tore this piece of black fabric from my opponent's clothes. I was going to send Tobok, my best tracker, to go looking for him. You should work together. I'll wait here for you to come back. All right, I'll find your thief. Take the black fabric. All right, so we have... Let's go talk to this guy. Now it's that scrolls just a recap of the quest info we just got. There's Toba. Let's talk to him. Hello, need something? I'm trying to learn more about this piece of fabric. Verna sent you to help me, huh? I'm sure you can be of some use. I don't have a lot of good leads to find this bandit, but a fresh pair of eyes will help me. Blah, blah, blah. But a fresh pair of eyes will help me to see things more clearly. I didn't recognize any particular scent on this piece of fabric. I just found a few Ecoflip hairs. And you're supposed to be Verna's best tracker. One of my cousins, Beethoven, <laughs> sign that up, is almost as good a tracker as I am. He might be able to get us pointed in the right direction. We can leave for Astrid as soon as you're ready. But things are a bit chilly between him and me. And I'm not sure if he'll agree to help us. So let's go. Let's just say Beethoven's kind of a dick. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if just being like a cocky asshole or whatever is just like some stereotypical Uganok mm -hmm. trait that I'm not aware of because I'm not like I, I'm into the world of Waku Bakfu, but I don't know like all of the lore. So um yeah. Uganoks give so far in my experience in the game with different Uganok characters other than my own. They very much give, like, warrior and or jock vibes. So, do with that what you will. Um, let's go. Ask Tovok for help in Astra. Well, I mean, 
Yeah. We gonna do the travel turkey situation. Astrob and Tyna happens to be the zap that Beethoven's right next to. See, that's him right there. Where are you going? Hello, little one. Have you come to collect some seeds from the gobbles? I came with one of your cousins, I think. A cousin? What cousin? Ugh, that weakling, Tobak. Are you still a widow puppy wubby doing twigs for your mistress? Doesn't she give you a widow num nums when you stand on your hind legs? You could have brought you could have brought me a better cousin than that, my friend, but I suppose you haven't come here just to amuse me. We're looking for the owner of this piece of fabric. Haha, oh. <laughs> have you lost your sense of smell, Tobak? Have all those years of submitting to Verna the feeble finally robbed you of your instincts? It's funny, really. Anyhow, I can't just help you for no reason. Tell me, adventurer, do you think you can be a better Uganok than him? I don't want to get tangled up in your family affairs. I just have to find a bell thief. You're right, that's true. Let's make this simple. I'll help you if you show me that you can gather a pack and lead it to victory. What do you think? Recruit some other adventurers and head off to confront Morphor, the beast that controls the raised vault. I'll show you what I can do. All right. So I'm going to pause here, see about this game notification that keeps popping up because it's very, very annoying, and then I shall return. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me see this quest. Yes, I just went in. Let me see something. Has to be difficulty two or higher. Okay, I'm glad I didn't change it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. I'm the Osamu dance. So I'm gonna be summoning Fujito and stuff. Actually, Pojito's not coming out. This little, this little guy's coming out. He's much more useful in this situation. Oh, oops! I was getting ready to do just that. <laughs> Well, that's about it. He's basically Pojito, but instead of like poison attacks, he does water attacks. He comes in handy.
My bad, I forgot. <gasps> no, I didn't. I promise. Can't move away from this guy or anything, but at least. Die, bitch. That's all I got for now. Not, it's fine. We'll survive this round. If you don't, like it'll be. Hey. Okay. What else are you weak to? I've been water. Oh, this should work. <laughs> It did. That worked. Alright, do you need a heal or anything? Nope. Cool. First, that's interesting. Who? Oh, I was like, What are you talking about? Como pendeja que soy. Ahora me tengo que quedar aquí. Yep. I sure did. This little guy has a lot of movement points and he has a move that like basically pulls characters that are far away enough directly to it. Well you know why 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 why? ¿Qué pasa? You did determine that this would hurt. So let's kill a bunch of them at the same time. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking love that move. It's like a superhero. I'm gonna do these. And then these. And then these. This is 
because it's going to get. He's done. I don't know, actually. I haven't seen any treasure chests in here. What's your point? <laughs> oh, the, but those things have uh, show up in battle. I know, but they're going to be in the battle in the dungeon. Hmm? What do you mean? This guy, more for heals, just so you know. Yeah. And then there's different characters that will have that skull, and after three turns, if they bite you, you're done. I'm just letting you know. Get rid of this guy as expeditiously as possible. They're all weak against water, if I'm not mistaken. That's why this little this little peanut is doing so good. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Ooh, I should call him Nutella. Her Nutella. He's got two more moves before his bite is lethal. But yeah, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> you ain't got to tell me twice. Where is the- f oh, he died. I was like, where'd he go? I must kill him. He did. He had so much distance to cover.
tell you, he's the shit, just like Pojito. Why the same asshole? Yeah. You don't wanna let me move. That sucks. He's in my way. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Or do like, uh, Yzman, Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> I win. how low my life was until you said something. Like, oh, damn. I'm going to after D. Oh, I can't. I'm locked in, bro. Yeah, unfortunately. No, it's not. But at least I got a little shield here, so. They ain't going nowhere. They're all... I'm gonna stay here and eat my ass up. No. I don't want my ass ate. <laughs> um. No, thank you. <laughs> See, this is why whenever YouTube's like, is this video made for kids? I'm like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> because... <laughs> Should I be saying the shit we be talking about? Like this may be a game for kids, but my videos are not for kids. Ay, este cabrón. Espérate. Before I fuck myself up. Me deja. Los dos. Oh, can I run away? Oh my goodness. I don't know how that happened. But it did it. I fucking did it. Well, it's over for you, bitch. We got Pojito now? Yeah. Pojito's very mad. So left me alone.
Okay. Oh man. I'm just throwing shit from all the way over here. <laughs> I think there are more for you, freaking. <sighs> he needs to die already. Oh no. It's going to keep running further and further away. Oh no, I can't do that. Because then I can't actually hit him. I am using the shit out of Pojito. Rude. It's a good thing I am ready to summon some shit. We're team week two as well. Oh, it's all more. Oh, great. Now I'm locked in behind him. That's fine. I just need this nail net to... Get him. You might need to run away too, friend. Yeah, 
back. Okay, his attacks suck. He's not really very useful, but at least he's, you know, something for more four to attack other than us. I think so. You don't need me. Yeah, I did that. It was me. I took him out all by myself. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, save the person in the tower, defeat Temper Hammers. Ask Beethoven to hold up his end of the bargain. Alright, so I gotta go back. I gotta go to the Tynella place and talk to Beethoven real quick. This asshole. Hello, little one. Have you come to collect some seeds from the gobbles? So, impressed? Morphor is in, is in the ground. Well, I wasn't exactly betting on you. I like your attitude. Never back down when faced with a challenge. I don't know how you wound up working for Verna, but look out for yourself or you'll wind up like the little worm they call my cousin. So, about your piece of fabric, do you know who it belongs to? I don't know who your thief is, but I recognize a certain smell. Not the strongest in the world, but it's the smell of an Ecoflip who lives in the tailor's quarters of Astrup. In fact, she's the one in charge of it. If you want my opinion, that's the start of a solid lead. Good luck. Thanks, puppy. Okay, now I gotta go to the Astrup Center because we gotta go to Missy Amulet. What in the world? Did y'all see that shit? <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Oh, wait. Wrong way. I gotta go this way. <laughs> Missy Amulet, but I'm pretty sure it's a play on Missy Elliot. Mm -hmm. Alright, welcome to Missy Amulet's The Fashion Accessories Bazaar for all your adventuring needs. What can I do for you? Would you have any information about this fabric? A fabric? Certainly. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, were you saying something? Are you the people I asked for? That was fast. I only sent my letter to the Matchfinder Gazette this morning. You can really count on them when you need help. Uh, what about the fabric? <laughs> yes, yes, I'll help you after you help me. After all, I called on you, not the other way around. All right, I'm counting on you to keep this a secret. The man I can't stop thinking about is Andy Ago, the handsome hull cat down in the fisherman's hamlet. Oh, what a fine man. Anyway, I need your help to find out how to make him like me, too. But you have to be discreet. All right. Let's start our investigation. All right. So have you gotten a quest having to do, having to go to Owymi, my love? Look at your quest. And... No. I mean, Missy Amulet does the clothing stuff, but what I'm asking you to do is to open your quest and tell me what 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 you have. Uh, Pause to reflect. That's the one to OI me, okay? So, here. Because then I can get you to... Okay. What, what about Black Ink? Oh, okay. So, if you come to the staff... What does, what, okay. Did you already talk to Black Ink and get the quest from him? Because it's talk to him or talk to someone else. I can't remember where, though. Let me see your quest real quick. Hold on, love. 
Let me see. Or the wild estate. Okay. I knew it was. I knew there was another one. Wild estate. Okay. So the wild estate one. Oops, I'm knocking shit over. Is relatively. E I mean, they're both relatively easy. But you have to start the quest by going to Owyme. Have you been there before? If you haven't, you're going to need to go. To the um, to Astra Port. Are you okay, love? Oh no. Oh my. Yes, that's the name of. Have you have you asked? Have you ever uh, been to like a desert area? Okay, that's Owyme. It's the Owyme Desert Zap. So, when you get there, all right, I'm going to get my mount. Yeah. Oh, you're auto-following me? That works, too. I can't remember if Verna... Is the Hunter Guild lady or the Uganot chief lady? Nope. I'm gonna go this way. Uganot chief lady it is. <laughs> Gotta wait for Hubby to come back from the bathroom. Ta-da! Look how cute we are! Hi! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, it might be like a Steam issue, not necessarily the internet itself, because I'm not having any issues with my game. Oh, well then it, I, then it might be a, a Nintendo issue. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you ready? You need to talk to the guy next to that, like, Uganok flag. Him. You gotta talk to that guy. Oh, yeah, let's cross then. Okay, so you got to go here. You got to talk to the lady up there. You did? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had already. Okay. I see what you mean. Okay, so Black Ink is an Arborea. He is an octopus guy. 
I'm already outside of the camp. Sorry. I thought you saw me leave. I'm just going back this way to get to the zap. Eroboria or Wild Estate? Okay. You gotta go down this bridge. Oh boy, it's right there. Yep. What does he want you to get? I might have it already. Hmm? Uh, yeah, you just let me know. Oh. Why did you select the bosses? Instead of the seed things. You only have to pick three. So you have witch quest now? I'm not accepting those for myself. I mean, I'll help you do one, but I don't want to do it, too. So, wait a second. Does it mark that quest complete, then? So, which one? What's the seed one? And I'll see if I have the seed already. What in the world? Coco, 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 Coco. <laughs> all right. I probably got all the seeds, babe. Give me a second. Which one? Molusky. It looked like you had a bunch of quests that you selected. You selected a lot, babe. N I, yeah, but one is gonna one is gonna have you do a bunch of, like Kokoko, Molaski, I think like Quab and some other shit. I got you. I just need you to let me know which ones they are. Wait, hold on. Let me change back to my regular build. That's number one. Yeah. That's what they are, babe. Yeah. What else do you need? Four. Hold on. I uh, hold on, babe. Hold on my no. handsome, wonderful, lovable. Cause we can go get some of these other seeds. 
worst case scenario. How did I end up with that many better hammer? Oh. All right. But I end up needing some of uh, work. work okay I'm coming traveling buddy hold on where are you at oh there you are hey wait okay hold on trade ready What is this that you are trying to give me? Epilase of destiny. <laughs> you know, you can keep all that extra shit and combine it so that it's like, badass. <laughs> You're like, never mind, I take that back and that back. <laughs> Oh, sorry. You're waiting on me. Now go ahead and take that shit to the octopus. Wait, what? Which is... Mmm. Oh, why me? Oh, why me? <laughs> exactly. You just pretty much go straight. What is this? Oh, it's a type of fisherman thingy. Interesting. I'm not leveled up enough to fish there. Yeah. Apparently. going the wrong way you can compass to me I'm already here I talked to I just realized her name is Maze backwards Ezam or Azam. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Do your thing, boo. No, you're not. You you gotta come back my way. Step behind me, love. Over here. Let me know when you got him following you. After that, we gotta go fight more for it again. Yeah, we talk to him, then we gotta fight more for it again. And then we'll both be doing the same quest after that point. That's why I, that's why I asked what quest you had, because it was like, well shit, let's get you to where I'm at. And we can both get um, the quest done. Mm. Refreshing. Ask, you gotta go to the Tynella app. That'll put us right in front of Beethoven. Did you go to Astrop Center? <laughs> yeah. Um, the Gobble? Where the Gobble Stadium our dungeon is? Do you remember that? There you are. I'll meet you at the cemetery. Oh, I got a mod down again. Well, at least we know what we're doing. This will be the only thing we have to do twice. Who? Tovac? No, he's not. Did he show up whenever I was fighting with you? Exactly. <laughs> he just stands there. You ready? Oh, wait. You know what? Let me make you the leader. Mm-hmm. We have to be level 35, because that's the max level. And then the dungeon has to be at stasis minimum thir uh, minimum two. I was gonna say 32, but it don't go that high. <laughs> I don't know why. I was gonna say that, cause I'm crazy. Yep. At least it's not a four, uh, four room dungeon. It's only three. Mm. 
Well, I can get three of you at a time. I might as well do that. Boy, shut up. Run away. There we go. Damn, I'm good. I need to come up with the with the name for the little nut character. He's cute. guys awesome okay yep mm -hmm. See that? Uh, pull them closer to me. Yeah, boy. Inescapable.
Oh, I can't get away from this asshole. Yep. That's fine. Come here, bitch. I'm telling you, this little nut is the shit. <laughs> we do all appreciate a little nut, don't we? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, take that. full health, so I'm ready to go whenever you are. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Mm-hmm. I think we should combine forces, but divide and conquer, I guess. I didn't realize until just now. Now I'm a little scared. <laughs> Oops. Do not inflict fire damage. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Do your thing. Mommy, make it roll. When you pop, pop, look it for me, baby. Get it. Roll. <sighs> we go around town. to run back closer to you on this turn. You awake? <laughs> Damn. Well, shit. You don't have to worry about him no more. No, I'm gonna get locked in. I was very worried for myself. Where is my little rat you got? Okay. He can't do nothing.
You're done. Trying to pull him away from me. You are no longer under the influence of Pulsar. Pulsar. You. <coughs> I don't know what that means. All I know is more for is picking on me and I don't like it. I wish I could do that more than once. Perfect. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. No. Wait. Oh no. I can't do any attacks with him right now. No, you little bitch. Get away from me. Would you do me a favor and shoot the shit out of this little guy if you if you're close enough? Or you could do that. That works too. That was badass, love. Honest que on uh, genuine question, asking for an honest answer. When when I play with the Osamoda and when I play with the Sedita, which one do you feel like is the better of the two uh, characters? Huh? I do like to fight. My my dolls or my summons with this character. I can't. I was like, damn it, man. Oh! <laughs> What's this? What's this? <laughs> Remember those fucking mimic things he was talking about? Um, we got a runic mimic, a sweet mimic, two sweet mimics, two runic mimics, oh my goodness, and a domestic mimic. Yes, they're very cool. I'm going to destroy them as soon as I can. Do they stay until we defeat? I think we need to destroy them first and then defeat more for it. Otherwise, we don't get them. It's gonna take a minute to wear more for down anyway, because he's a little bitch. And there is a mouse over here, I think, as well. 
Yeah. It's okay. I have that earth punch thingy I can do that will ideally hit a lot of these at the same time. And you got two bombs here, too? I think we'll be good. Oh! Yeah, boy. I mean, it's better than nothing. You got two of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Me either. Alright. It's just us and him. It's okay. I to get in front of him. Do the long distance thing. I got my fucking. I don't know. Let's hope not. Hmm. Oh, sheet. He said, slow down, so.
Can I see that? Pick what up? What truck? Or why? Oh. I mean, I knew that, but I just remember you got to make a trip. <clears throat> that sucks. No, leave me alone. Are you okay? Yeah. How long is this going to take? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, yeah, I don't know, man, but I'm going to need you to do it. Because I is going to die. I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. Huh? You see that little sliver of I don't even see a sliver. That's how little life I have left. I don't even know how I'm standing. 14 HP. Huh? Watch him come for me now. Instead of attacking my characters that were all in the way, protecting me, you now gave him direct access to me. Thank you. And I'm dead. <laughs> I was probably gonna die no matter what. <laughs> no matter what you did. <laughs> huh? Get in. One more time, babe. Fuck him up. Avenge me! <laughs> Defend my honor! <laughs> Ooh, he coming for you. I know! I know! Get him! You can do it! I believe in you! For glory! <laughs> You received an item and your inventories are full. Dang, we barely made it. Hold on, let me see something then. 
no ghost now. Oh jeez. Okay. Twenty nine. Yeah, you go do that while I get rid of shit. Tynella. Oh, I don't have to worry about nothing now. Wait. After you go, after you talk to Beethoven, he's going to mention Missy Elliott, and you're going to have to go talk to her. Mm hmm So go to... Astrup Center. Yeah, Astrup Center, and then past the Phoenix until you get to where Rule is. And on the other side is uh, where Missy Amulet is. And after you talk to her there, you gotta bring your ass, your ass to um, where Personal is, where Gultard and Personal are. Do you remember that? The fishing area. Do you know where that is on the map? Yeah. Okay, it's the Fisherman's Hamlet Drago Express. gonna scare the fish. What do you want? Missy Amulet is secretly in love with you and wants to know how to get your attention. Mm. Well, shoot, I reckon I don't need much in life, you know. Fishing's all I really care about. Big fish, little fish, and even the medium-sized ones. But right now, I'm about to run clean out of lures. Ah, yeah, so they were to attract someone. I should have thought of that. Mm -hmm. I'd go looking for more in the sewers, but that's such a long hike, and with my arthritic knees, I'm not really up for it. You just tell that lady she finds me a nice lure that don't need replacing? Well, then I reckon I'd like that just fine. What was that name again? Missy Amulet, but it's secret. Okay, I'll deliver the message. Back over where? Oh... You already came and talked to old boy? Damn. <laughs> you were like, okay. <laughs> that works too. But you can't get too much further than me. It defeats the purpose then of us doing this shit together. I've got Andy's answer. He wants a lure for his fish. Oh, what a passionate man. Of course. For him to be interested in me, I have to get interested in fishing. You folks at the Match Finder Gazette know all about this stuff, right? He uses larvae? But that's revolting. How can I do this? Could you make him one out of fabric? Oh, I know. I'll sell him a lovely little fabric lure. But where can I find a larva without going down in those disgusting sewers? Would you mind being my model? You really look a whole lot like, well... You know what I mean. Do I look like a larva? Don't take it too hard. It's just nature's way. We have to accept who we are and love the face we're given, even when it's hard. But no, there's still something missing. You need to be all dressed up in the muddy larval set. It's gorgeous. I hope the Match Finder Gazette pays well. All right. So I had this stuff. Hold on a second, and then I'll give it to you. But I would like for you to please give it back. Okay. When you are done. You probably do. In your way. You only need the helmet, the uh, epaulet, the muddy larval, larva palet, the muddy larval belt, and the muddy larval boots. Yeah, that's, that's what you need. Hold on a second. Let me get my real level back up. I want to be a level 35 in the mouth. 
Oh yeah. Hold on. I got you, my love. Don't you worry. Your pretty little head off. Yeah, you are so, so pretty. What's I gonna do? I came in here for what? The epilase. The, the larval shit. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Put that bag on. <sighs> okay, that okay. I'm gonna talk to her real quick and then I'll trade this stuff with you, okay? <clears throat> Wait, why is she telling me she'll lead me to my work? Is there something I'm still missing? I got the helmet. Oh, down. Oh! Am I missing a breastplate or something? It might be the breastplate. I could have sworn I had it. Did I not have? I must have got rid of it like a bendeja. But that's okay. Oh, you know what? One of my alt characters is probably wearing it. No. Psych. Hold on. I'm about to go buy a fucking breastplate because we ain't doing all this. Yeah. I have the helmet, the belt, the boots, and the epaulet. But I think I need the breastplate as well, so I'm just gonna go to the market. And if I got to, I will purchase one. <clears throat> Look, muddy larval breastplate. Look at that. Lowest price. Muddy level larval breastplate. Eight ninety eight. Boom. Putting it on. Once I get back over here. Okay, I'm ready. Magnificent. Well, for a larva anyway. So don't move. Whatever you do, stay calm. Okay, a little thread here. A quick snip there. Ta-da! It's perfect! Oh, I don't dare to go and give it to him myself. Would you please take him my gift? But don't tell him it's from me. I'm much too shy. I won't say anything. Promise. I've been spilling all the secrets. <laughs> that man already knows everything he needs to know about you, girl. Here you go. Ta-da!
Now we gotta go take Missy's gift to San Diego. Looks like I already opened that one. Oh, yeah. Thanks for making sure I did, though. Shh, you're gonna scare the fish away. Look what Missy did for you. Well, goodness me, this is downright lovely. And I just love me some colors. It's almost as like someone was trying to seduce me. I sure don't know who done this. But it sure seems like some kind of nice lady. If you run into her in your travels, tell her she's more than welcome to come and fish a spell with me anytime she likes, as long as she don't scare the fish. Yeah. Great, I'll do that. Ask Missy for information. Give us the info, lady. All set. He's waiting for you by his pond. It's tempting. Thank you so much for your help. I'll renew my subscription to the Match Finder Gazette for at least another year. Ah, love. What about my fabric? Oh, yes. Let me see that. Oh, I know exactly what that is. I have a customer who comes by very far away just to get this fabric. But the crowback feathers don't come from here. I think she collects them on the island where she lives. An island where crowbacks live? Yeah, strange place. My client is an ecoflip who is very gracious and refined and quite a lovely lady. But she's not shy about using her claws when she has to. Not always easy doing business with her, but as long as she comes to me and not the competition. It's nice of you to bring her back the fabric that she has lost. Yeah, I love good deeds. Thanks a lot. So we gotta go to Kelba now. Kelba. Kelba. Meet me in Kelba Love. Kelba Love. Meet me in Kelba, my love. Oh. <laughs> You're a silly, silly man. Yeah. The place that we need to turn this shit into in the first place. Be a good place to meet. I feel like. <laughs> what? Is the ring a uh, rare? No, you need a rare one. <coughs> Look to see if maybe you equipped one with one of your other characters and then just switch it. Like put the mythic one. Let me see if I have. Huh? No, I think it has to be I, I don't think Mythic counts, but we'll see. We'll see. Hold on. Let me give you these padded up LA's first. And then... Go ahead and take Zen. We'll go in here, and if it doesn't let you, I might be able to give you one depending on if my other character my main has one equipped with one of her builds or something i don't know if you're here to spend a few commas you're welcome my lady i don't remember what i'm supposed to go and get i have the items you were asking for boom let's see that's exactly what i'm looking for we can go ahead and make the trade and then i never want to see you again i'll also take the bit of black cloth that bit of black cloth, excuse me. It'll help me to identify your thief in case I see him in my shop again. I don't want him stealing things from me too. It's just an ordinary ordinary little bell. Are you trying to rip me off? 
Oops, I must have made a mistake. Here's the right one. I don't know if it's true that the, what they say about it, but I'm glad I could make this trade. I don't suppose you'd like to buy some worn-out shoes that used to belong to the legendary Gabola Rule Stroud, would you? Or the Justice Knight's bedside lamp? He wasn't using it, since he's never in his room at night anyway. No, thank you. Take the ancient bell. Well, I guess we're done with our business. Now, Scram, I've got to clean up in here after letting you come in with those grimy old boots. I'll be back, Miranda. I saw a little top that would look nice on me.